In this video I'll be explaining disc brakes. Now there's generally two kinds of disc brakes. You're either going to have floating or fixed. Now floating disc brakes are fairly simple. What happens is you're going to have your wheel axle connected to your brake rotor which is connected to your tire. So your brake rotor will rotate but this caliper right here will remain stationary. Now inside the caliper there's a piston or a pot and you'll lead the brake fluid when you press the, the brake you're going to push brake fluid in here, it's going to open up and then go into this uh, little cylinder area and force the piston to press against this rotor. When the piston presses against the rotor, the caliper is going to move in and they're going to squeeze together on that rotor which is connected to your tire. So it'll be turning kinetic energy into heat energy uh, through friction with this rotor. Um, on the other hand, a fixed disc brake is a, a little more complicated. Um, what happens is this caliper itself will not move left or right. It'll, it'll remain stationary while this rotates and you're going to have multiple pistons. So when you press the brakes you're going to have the brake fluid come in and it'll fill these multiple pistons and press together on pads onto the brake rotor. Now with multiple pistons it'll generally apply more evenly and uh, fixed brake calipers are generally more expensive but they do have better performance for the most part. Now there's several things to mention also. Um, there's multiple pistons uh, brake, disc brakes and single piston disc brakes. Multiple piston disc brakes, it's pretty self-explanatory, there'll be more than one piston in the disc brake. Uh, they apply pressure more evenly and they generally have larger calipers because they can distribute that pressure evenly. So you'll have less brake fade um, with, a, with a larger caliper. Single piston disc brakes, on the other hand, are cheaper, generally lighter, and they will tend to have smaller calipers since the piston is going to be pressing on um, a s smaller pad. It, it won't be able to say the pad is, is very large and the piston's right here. You're not going to get much pressure on the outside of that. So, And pretty much for everyday use, they are just as good, the single piston. So you really don't need to have multiple pistons if you're just driving around, you know, just a A to B cruiser. And that is how disc brakes work.